How would you like to spend your life living in the soil, in a burrow, or under a rock? But that's what spotted salamanders do, except when they come out to a vernal pool in the spring to breed. In this video, let's take a look at the life cycle of this elusive vernal pool species, the spotted salamander. Spotted salamanders belong to a group called the mole salamanders because they live underground in burrows. They range from 5 to 9 inches in length and are black to gray with two rows of yellow spots along the back. They eat insects, worms, and other invertebrates. Spotted salamanders become reproductively mature in two to five years. In Rhode Island and eastern Massachusetts, the breeding season for spotted salamanders begins in mid to late March through the first week of April. On the first warm, rainy spring nights, when the nighttime temperatures are in the upper 40s or 50s, the spotted salamanders will leave their burrows and make their way to the vernal pools to breed. For most spotted salamanders, they are returning to the vernal pool in which they were born. While we are not sure how they do this, it most likely involves chemical senses. They can migrate from several hundred feet away and often have to cross roads to reach the pool. This is about the only time that people will ever get to see these salamanders due to their underground existence. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Kyle. And we're about to go down with Professor Twining to a vernal pool to see if there are spotted salamanders congressing. Male spotted salamanders are the first to arrive at the vernal pool several hours ahead of the females. While waiting, the males writhe around in large masses called congresses. When the females finally arrive, a male will separate from the congress and perform a courtship display for a female, which some call a dance. The two circle each other, putting their heads under one another's tails. The male will nudge and rub the female with his chin. When the male swims away from her, she will give chase if interested. A male spotted salamander will deposit spermatophores on the bottom of the vernal pool. If a female is attracted to his courtship display, she will sit on the spermatophore to fertilize her eggs. To a human observer, the spermatophores look like white breadcrumbs on the vernal pool bottom. Spotted salamander egg masses contain as many as 50 to 200 eggs. The eggs are deposited by the female on an overhanging branch, on plant leaves and stems, or sometimes directly on the bottom of the pool. You can see in my hand two different spotted salamander egg masses. The one in my right hand, it has a very clear outer coating. The one in my left hand has a white gelatinous coating. There's really no difference between the two. It's just a genetic variation that appears in the spotted salamander egg masses. Now, when these eggs were first laid, the jelly-like coating was very uh, much smaller than it is today. It's swelled up to quite a large size and when they were first laid also the embryos looked like small brown or black discs at the center of the eggs and it had those two uh, whitish colored membranes the inner uh, envelope and the outer envelope surrounding the embryo. By contrast wood frog egg masses have no outer gelatinous matrix the embryos are white on one side and black on the other and are inside of a single clear egg. These eggs are stuck together to form the large egg masses. No way! Did you know that spotted salamander larvae take 30 to 50 days to hatch? If you look carefully during this period, you can see the round, disc-shaped embryo change into a larvae with a distinct head, gills, and tail. When spotted salamanders first hatch from the egg, they're only about a half inch in size and are a dull green color with feathery gills and limb buds. Over two to four months, they undergo metamorphosis. 
first developing forelimbs, then hind limbs. When they are ready to live their life on land, they lose their gills and develop an adult color pattern. Spotted salamander larvae are predators, eating small crustaceans, insect larvae, and other amphibian larvae. They are eaten by a variety of predators, including predaceous diving beetles, water scorpions, giant water bugs, marbled salamander larvae, and turtles. Vernal pools are a special part of the New England landscape. We hope this program will help you to appreciate these habitats and the species that use them. Join us next time for another episode and thanks for watching.